we are going to take some live footage of the experiments to look for neutron emission during cavitation of the butyrated acetone where the temperature is approximately 0 degrees C minus 1 minus 2. The drive amplitude is approximately plus or minus 15 bar. And nucleation of uh, bubbles is being created using pulse neutron generator, 14 MeV neutrons of emission approximately 5 to 6 times 10 to the 5 neutrons per second. As you can see, uh, the test enclosure is enclosed in a dark environment. Uh, <coughs> and there's a, a pulse neutron generator located right around here, producing 14 MeV neutrons. And around here, uh, within about a centimeter or two of the test chamber, uh, that we cannot see over here. There is a liquid scintillation detector for detecting neutrons versus gammas. And there is a, a, a PMT to look for light emission. The natural the frequency uh, for deuterated acetone is approximately 19.72 kilohertz, 7.6 kilohertz over here. As you can see, there's approximately 15, 20, 25 bubble bursts per second. And now, uh, and this shows the waveform taking uh, and the trigger burst for, for I guess, setting off the neutrons. And over here, we've got a multi-channel scalar board that we are going to look at the time spectrum of evolution of neutrons. We are now, in this case, gated on neutrons. So I'm going to start the acquisition of neutron time spectrum um, over 10,000 sweeps. This shows the location of uh, the neutrons coming off during the burst of the pulse neutron generator. And uh, these are 5,000 microseconds from here to there, divided into 1,000 channels, each channel about 5 microseconds each. This shows the generation of, uh, of the counts in each individual time bin as a function of cavitation over here. <coughs> and we'll collect it for about 50 microseconds, I'm sorry, for about 50 seconds and 10,000 sweeps. This is very similar to the data that we have uh, logged into our paper in science. I'm sorry, the new manuscript. I'm going to do the, experiment, the same experiment by, uh, by turning off cavitation, by having a frequency phase shift introduced. As you can see, the bubble bursts have stopped occurring over here. There's no more taking place. And now we're going to obtain the time spectrum over here for cavitation. As you can see, here is a pulse neutron generator burst coming up. And here is the, uh, the time spectrum of neutrons being emitted as a function of time or from the start of the PNG burst. Yeah? Uh, the background is basically fairly constant all throughout. Yeah? It does not show that peak structure that you saw previously with cavitation turned on. Now I guess turn cavitation on again over here. And as you can see, the neutron bursts of the neutron counts start to rise again, like we would expect it. Okay, but that's the end of the sweep. Thank you. That's fine. Okay, cavitation is on again and now we are we are going to be looking at the sonoluminescence time spectrum. And as you can see, cavitation is on. There's about 20, 25 bubble bursts per second taking place over here. And using the same multi-channel scalar uh, version, we, go, we are now going to obtain a time spectrum, a time sweep of uh, counts with cavitation on, but now looking for light emission. Here we go. This is the point at which the pulse neutron generator would be firing. And here's where we obtained the time history as a fun during each sweep of, uh, of the sonoluminescence light emission. All this depends on the rate at which light emission uh, is noted very strongly with the degree of cavitation that takes place, yeah? the number of bubble bursts per second. As you can see, the region where we we saw the uh, uh, the approximate uh, peak for the neutrons is also where we start seeing light emission, and the light emission profile tends to taper off towards the end.
Thank you. Okay. Now cavitation is being turned off by using the frequency phase shift method. As you can see, there are no bubble bursts taking place. And we're going to try and obtain the data one more time uh, for the time spectrum. As you can see, there is virtually no change, no, uh, no cavitation burst over here oh, on this, uh, as recorded on this scope, and also no light emission for this case. Okay, we've just about gone through 5,000 sweeps and I do not see any, any light flash data recorded over here. Okay, that's the end of the 50 seconds. And as, uh, as one can see, whereas previously with cavitation on, there was a spectrum that looked, uh, uh, that had a shape similar to that of the neutron emission spectrum, there is virtually no data over here to speak of. Okay, we are now going to be obtaining the same type of nuclear emission data, but this time by gating on gammas, not neutrons. Here's a situation with cavitation on, as you can see, there's about 20 odd bubble bursts per second. And we're going to obtain a similar time spectrum, similar to what we obtained for neutrons, where you saw the large bell-shaped curve for neutron emissions. Now we're going to be obtaining the gamma spectra data. And over here, right at the, at the front end, where the pulse neutron generator bur uh, bursts take place, you see these prompt gammas coming off. But otherwise, there's a gradual die away. And of course, um, there is none of the type of behavior that we saw with uh, with our, with our cavitation on for neutron emissions. <clears throat> we'll obtain data one more time over 50 seconds and 10,000 sweeps with cavitation turned on and we'll obtain the same data now with cavitation turned off. Don't stop. Uh, okay, I, I just want to turn it off and then we'll obtain data again. Yeah? Well, here's cavitation turned off. I'm going to clear it up. And now we're going to be turning cavitation off. As you can see, the bubble bursts have stopped over here. There's no, uh, no cavitation activity. There was a phase frequency shift. And we're going to obtain the gamma spectra data by gating on gammas with cavitation turned off. Once again, in the region the, where the pulse neutron generator is firing, you can see a sharp increase and a die away of the gamma spectrum as a function of time from 0 to 5,000 microseconds <clears throat> for deuterated acetone, approximately 0 degrees Celsius data. The spectrum is very similar to what one sees with cavitation turned on but this is the gamma spectrum data. The number of counts increased by approximately uh, a level which is approximately about 10% that of the, uh, about 10 to 15% that of the neutron emissions uh, after the PNG burst takes place. As one can see, the spectrum looks very similar to what you obtained before, even with cavitation turned on. Thank you.